They have no feelings or emotions. They are not afraid of hunger, exhaustion, or moral fatigue. They are indifferent to ideology and politics, so they will never willingly switch sides to the enemy. They will follow any order, even if it requires sacrificing their own lives. They are perfect killers, devoid of human weaknesses. They can be thrown into the heat of battle because they are created to detect and destroy enemy columns of vehicles, live forces, and the enemy's rear. We are talking about robots in the arsenal of the world's most powerful nations. After watching this video, you will understand the crucial role they play. We will reveal the secrets of the classified developments of American closed institutes, see who leads in this arms race, and answer the question of whether humanity can lose control over the military machines we have entrusted with our most precious assets. It looks like a bull, leaps at the speed of a wolf, and carries a load like a packed mule. But will there be a place for it on the battlefields of the future? The U.S. military continues to conduct ongoing trials of a robot promising to ease the burden soldiers carry. The four-legged carrier, packed with high-tech features, was developed by engineers from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, and Boston Dynamics as part of the Legged Squad Support System program. As military operations increasingly rely on high technology, soldiers are forced to carry more equipment, reportedly up to 45 kilograms. This leads infantry to move more slowly, become fatigued faster, and experience an increased number of injuries. Therefore, one of the main research themes at the Pentagon is finding means to reduce the physical burden on soldiers. The new robot moves on four legs, and a quick reacting balance system prevents it from falling if someone pushes the mule in the side, something most robots today cannot do. However, if the robotic carrier does fall, it is capable of autonomously getting back on its feet. It has two eyes at the front, electronic sensors continuously scanning the surrounding environment. The carrier's engine runs on gasoline, providing certain advantages. It should be able to carry up to 180 kilograms, accompanying hikes over distances of more than 30 kilometers, lasting more than a day. However, there is also a disadvantage, noise. The initial prototypes were so loud that it was impossible to talk nearby, but the robot is gradually being improved. Ghost Robotics Robot Dog K9 is making its way into the U.S. Army. Division 60 robots nicknamed K9 have been deployed to patrol a military base in Florida, enhancing security and surveillance. The 325th Security Forces Squadron, responsible for base security, stated that these weather-resistant four-legged unmanned patrol drones, equipped with two-way communication and high-tech sensors, cost about $100,000 each. In February 2021, four robo-dogs were stationed around the base perimeter, autonomously navigating or being controlled by operators through virtual reality headsets. Designed for stability across various terrains, with reduced mechanical complexity to lower costs while increasing reliability and maneuverability, these robots have a seven-hour runtime on a single charge. Although the robot dogs don't bite, attempts to damage them trigger an undisclosed protective mechanism. K9 has become an additional set of eyes and ears, processing large volumes of data at strategic points throughout the Air Force Base. An award for an outstanding achievement in creating the most original robots can confidently be presented to the developers of the snake-like robot from Carnegie Mellon University, USA. Initially designed for search and rescue missions, it is capable of moving inside vertical pipes, climbing trees, and penetrating the most inaccessible places. The U.S. military quickly became interested in it and uses the system as a reconnaissance robot. The most successful among compact models is the series of spy robots called Recon Scout. If necessary, they are equipped with a thermal camera. The system's weight without payload is only 700 grams. The U.S. military tested their skills in using these robots in Afghanistan. A device called Dogo can be equipped with gas and sound grenades, but its main feature is the placement of a compact pistol. The robot is remotely controlled by an operator. Interestingly, military psychologists have noted interesting phenomena. Soldiers become strongly attached to their robots and treat them as combat comrades or pets. The U.S. Army plans to adopt a family of armed tank robots under the project called Mission Enabler Technologies Demonstrator. This initiative involves creating combat robots in three classes, light, medium, and heavy. 
They will engage in shooting, disrupt enemy communication, deploy smoke screens for advancing infantry, and undertake other hazardous tasks. The smallest robotic combat vehicle, Robotic Combat Vehicles Light, will be a wheeled vehicle weighing less than 10 tons. Armed with light yet powerful weaponry, such as the Javelin Anti-Tank Missile Launcher, the RCV Medium, nearly the same size but twice as heavy, will accommodate heavier weaponry, armor, and attract mechanism. Medium robots will be equipped with a medium caliber gun, likely ranging from 30 to 40 millimeters, or multiple anti-tank guided missiles. The Robotic Combat Vehicle Heavy, weighing up to 30 tons, will serve as an unmanned main battle tank. It will be armed with a large caliber direct fire weapon capable of destroying tanks like the Chinese Type 99 and the Russian T-14 Armada. Currently, the robots will be remotely operated by an operator without the use of radars to reduce the machine's visibility. However, future plans include transitioning control to artificial intelligence, with active research in this direction taking place in the United States. Let's talk about the latest robotics news. A Singaporean company has shown the dance movements of over 10 humanoid robots, GR1. According to the company, the first deliveries of ready devices to consumers will begin later this year. The rhythmic hip movements are made possible by powerful drives in the hip joints with a torque of 300 newton meters. Company representatives claim that with the GR1 drives, it can lift weights up to 50 kilograms. This is nearly the full weight of the robot itself, which is 55 kilograms and has a height of 1.65 meters. GR1 is designed to work as an assistant for care and therapy for elderly people. While it may not lift 50 kilogram boxes from the floor, it could potentially help a patient get up from a bed, toilet, or wheelchair. Four year plans to release 100 robots by the end of 2023, but they won't be fully functional intelligent systems. These will be hardware and software platforms with basic capabilities. The first batch will be sent to research laboratories, where the system will be further developed for field use. This is a robotic tank based on the Combat Type X, which has successfully undergone trials, including live fire exercises. The vehicle is equipped with a remotely controlled turret featuring a 30mm Bushmaster cannon. The robot is designed to support main battle tanks and infantry fighting vehicles. Naturally, it complies with NATO standards. It is noted that thanks to artificial intelligence, the robot is capable of autonomous navigation and obstacle traversal. The Songer development is a combination of a flying machine gun, grenade launcher, and mortar. It was created by the Turkish company Aces Guard. The weight of Songar is approximately 25 kilograms. It can be controlled from a distance of up to 10,000 meters when using a relay station. Without it, the range is limited to no more than three kilometers. The first thing installed on the drone is, of course, a camera. In addition to it, it can carry various weapons, such as a 5.56 millimeters caliber machine gun with a 45 millimeters launcher, similar to the model adopted by the Turkish army. The ammunition capacity includes 200 rounds, and high shooting accuracy is achieved through the use of an electronic targeting system and a ballistic calculator. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in today's video impressed you the most. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you soon.